What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another RoboTaxi report. On our last one, we had a lot of great success with 11.4.2, as you can see here on our RoboTaxi reports graph, showing a 93% overall reliability or success rating over 56 trips, meaning that only four were failures. I was really blown away by that build, and I was hoping that it would be the start of seeing an approach toward the March of Nines. But similarly to 10.11.2 with version 10, 11.4.2 appears to have been a little fluke, a little tease of what may be coming in the future. As we look at 11.4.4, unfortunately the results are not so great. I've completed so far 28 trips, and right now we're only at 54%. In fact, we'll go ahead and just focus on the version 11 builds here to simplify what we're looking at. And with 11.4.4, we're actually going lower than we have in a while dipping down closer and closer to 50%. This build has lost so much of the staging competence, the finesse, the confidence. It's been a massive step back for me and super disappointing. But at the same time, it shouldn't be overly surprising or disconcerting when you're looking at the way our performance kind of goes all over the place as this does go forward. And I'm sure as most of you have probably already seen and heard, recently Elon came out on a spaces to say that with XAI, they have realized how they were overcomplicating the situation and seem to have found a much simpler solution to this problem. So we'll see if that ends up being the case and when that'll actually start to take effect. I wouldn't assume that that's gonna happen tomorrow. This could be something that lays out a roadmap for improvements a year from now. Now that isn't to say it won't happen sooner, but I think it's best to tamper our expectations and see what happens going forward. I will say the performance of 11.4.4 is exactly why I waited and made sure I had a good thick sample size for 11.4.2. That way we could see that it was not so much a fluke, but just a really good singular build, a sort of unicorn build in itself. You know, if I had just done 5, 10 trips, you could write it off pretty easily. But the fact that I did over 50 trips with consistent performance in all the same areas that 11.4.4 is operating, there's added weight to those results and a stronger reflection on what we're seeing now with 4.4. And I've seen a lot of the same sentiment across the board that 4.4 has not been the best experience. And this may suck to hear, and sure, yeah, it's, it's not fun to see it going the other way. But again, that's the reality of the situation. This is how you can tell that I'm not here to just pump it and overhype it. Now, what I'm looking for to really start feeling motivated about getting close to the solution is to start seeing sequential patches with consistent performance similar to 3.4 and 3.6 on the screen here 58 59 percent if this build had been 91 94 even like maybe 89 percent if it maintained a rather high consistency i'd be a lot more excited but this sort of up and down peaks and valleys scenario just paints randomness it doesn't show consistency the next update could be right back up to 80, 90% or even lower. It's really hard to predict where this is going to go when you've been observing it as long as I have. Again, just looking back at all of this, peaks and valleys, up and down. Now, version 10 after 10.11 definitely did tank really low to 25%. And then right back up with version 11 to a whole new high and then back down. So almost more like following a stock when you're looking at it really zoomed in and it's just going up and down. And you can't really predict where it's going to go long term. But then probably zooming out over time, we'll be able to see an upward trend, hopefully. But as it stands now, 11.4.4 is struggling. Um, after I finish with the average testing, we'll go into assertive, just like I did with 4.2. I haven't gotten any win or heard anything about 11.4.5 or some new build coming around the corner. We might be in this one for a little while, or I could have just missed that. Admittedly, I've been busy as hell, so it's a good chance I did miss something. Now, before moving on, I did want to take this chance to let everybody know that you can actually go to this dashboard and interact with it the same way I am, just following the link in the description as well as the link in the comment on Twitter. So feel free to get in here, check this out, play around with it, keep up with me with what I'm doing. It refreshes every three hours. And I hope you get some enjoyment out of seeing the data up close and be able to actually follow along with what I do. Right, going into sort of the map breakdown of where we've been with 4.4, you can see there's a little bit up here in the Ventura Oxnard area, not too far from Santa Barbara, you know, thanks to my time spent up there during the infamous stop sign tests and such. But most of my time has been spent down here in the San Diego area. And you can see, I mean, the predominant areas of travel have been, you know, downtown into the airport, Mission Valley, Mission Beach. Got a couple of trips way up in Encinitas and out in El Cajon. 
And right now, the, the map isn't looking too great. There's a lot of red. There's a lot of red and orange. It's not doing too hot. But with more trips, you know, we'll be able to expand the sample even more. If we look at 11 in more of a total sense, you can see more of a robust breakdown of all the areas I've been throughout San Diego, including the little bit that I was up in Ventura and Oxnard. Once this starts to get good enough that San Diego seems to conquer it, I'm probably going to try to spend more time in the LA area, in the more challenging areas, to see how it does there too. Granted, it's a little out of the way, but, you know, if I get up early, I can get up there and get a lot of customer trips, no problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at the causation behind all of these failures and these disengagements. One of the most concerning things to me on 11.4.4 is there's a lot more issue around critical disengagements, mostly in the legal sense. Issues with red lights and stop signs and such that weren't there before, or definitely weren't as frequent when it came to early version 11 builds, and especially 11.4.2. And on top of the legal stuff, the other critical disengagements are a lot higher. And four red wheel system errors, three obstacle issues, whether it's construction or an object in the road, and then one safety concern where the vehicle was just going way too fast and another car was coming up and I took over to prevent a very uncomfortable situation. A lot of this performance actually takes me back to the latter portion of version 10. And of course, compared to 11.4.2, we've reintroduced a massive issue with staging where we're just choosing the wrong lanes or just completely missing a turn or taking the wrong exit. It's as though the system's forgotten how to do the job when it comes to a robo-taxi standpoint. Because again, for the robo-taxi portion of this, if I have to hit the turn signal, if I have to disengage, grab it in any way, that's a failure. You know, because if I wasn't there, you know, that wouldn't have been a great situation for the customer in that transportation scenario. But yeah, in the time that I've been using 11.4.4, we've had 33 disengagements at 28 trips. And if we go back and we look at 11.4.2, over 56 trips, we only had 13 disengagements total. And out of those 13, we only had three critical, you know, two red wheel system errors and one safety disengagement, which was that very first night using 4.2 when it was going way too fast up some vertical roads or some very steep roads, not vertical, obviously. And I had to take over just, it was... Way too ambitious that day. While well, the rest of the time using it, it was absolutely fantastic. So here's the hoping going forward that 11.4.5 or whatever build comes next gets us back closer to the 11.4.2 standard. And we can count 4.4 as one of those annoying two steps back scenarios. I think that'll just about do it for today. I want to try to get these more and more concise and to the point and be able to get them out more and more frequently. I'll be able to get a lot of driving in this week. Uh, next week, I'll be out of town pretty much the whole week going through Arizona and Nevada again for work. And that is the reason for a lot of the lack of content that's been on the channel. So I'm trying to make up for that this week and get back up to speed. That being said, I really appreciate everybody's patience and the continued interest in this data. And I hope you like and share it, send it to everybody. And remember that you can interact with this dashboard again if you go to the link in the description. Thanks to Eliza's hard work, we're able to allow everybody to interact with this dashboard the same way you've seen me do here today. So I really hope you guys enjoy being able to interact with this dashboard. And though it's not true real time, it does refresh every three hours. So that's pretty good. And feel free to take screenshots or use this information to share it with friends and family, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. You know, I, I like people being able to see this and the work we're doing to show the progress of FSD going forward. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. I thank you all for the view and I'll catch you in the next video.